welcome to a new episode of, well, I don't know actually the topic of it. It's, it's like a story or information that how do people, uh, companies, brokers, future tradings and exchanges want to just take your money and just tell you that you have lost it uh, in a way of following the prices and your own stuff that you actually lose it. You did the steps and you, well, you lost it. So my name is Matt and... Yeah, my name is Oscar. I also share my... Um, uh, some things I have noticed and uh, you know when you test with automated systems you see things that other people don't see or uh, simple humans just don't see the things that uh, the system can see and uh, yeah, we can start with the futures markets and uh, we're also working on arbitrage trading and we can also discuss maybe a bit about it as well but in this series we want to talk about futures market and uh, I think market itself uh, has no meaning uh, you know when you have asset that has some kind of function and then you have exchanges and future exchanges and then you have let's say at least some five big exchanges and of course all of them have the vision that they want to be the biggest and the best and uh, so they are the ones that can control the price movements and then when you all of those exchanges have their own users and customers and they want to give their best experiences but then if you have five huge exchanges and all of them have some 10 20 50 100 millions of users daily on a daily basis so some of them will grow huge and some of them will die eventually it's just the nature of probability and then uh, you know when one one exchange you, you don't need that much money to move the price actually if if you see the volumes in futures markets and compare to a spot market then you can see that uh, Exchanges can move the price either direction quite fast and when one exchange tries to move the price in One specific direction. Well, we have only two directions up or down Let's say one exchange wants to move it down. Well, the other exchange won't allow it So they will move the price back again immediately and then there are people who you know give their predictions and uh, and the uh, tell that yeah, this price went down because of this news well actually the news has nothing to do with uh, you know the big boys playing games so uh, but when you put system inside futures market you see that it's it's built to to liquidate your position as soon as possible <laughs> and, as soon uh, as possible comparing to spot exchange basic exchange there are many features that are not present there so uh, Futures market is, uh, I think it's, well, for automated system, I don't see any uh, possibility to uh, create a growing account in futures markets. And uh, we will tell you why. Yeah, in this video, uh, we will talk about this a little bit deeper. So this series may be one of the longest by now. So stay tuned and just enjoy the ride. Uh, so I wanna I wanna just clarify uh, to beginners what is a spot uh, exchange spot trading and what is the futures of margin trading. Uh, there are several trading methods, but in this method uh, in this video we will cover only the spot and futures just to cover up the main ideas. A spot market basically is when you actually buy a bitcoin, you hold it and you sell it. But you have actually bought a bitcoin, you have hold it and have sold it. You can transfer this Bitcoin somewhere else, or you, you buy any other coin, Litecoin, you can transfer it, withdraw it, and send it back if you like. So basically, you are buying eventually a product. And it's like it's like going to the market, buying something, taking home, and then going back to the market and selling. So it's it's uh, the idea of it, it's similar to just what I told. But futures, however, is a completely different story. Futures is you don't actually buy any of the products. Uh, uh, you buy contracts of whether the price will go up and down. But the thing is differently is that on uh, on futures you can actually short 
you can do it also on futures uh, on spot trading but on futures you actually never have bought anything you have bought only the contract and uh, but the only opportunity that it provides it can actually short and also what it provides is leverage uh, so basically what it means is if you have a hundred dollars you can leverage up to like trading with ten thousand dollars or thousand dollars so it gives you a little bit of of a shoulder to trade with and, and they always say that the more leverage you have the higher risk you have but also the greater profit you have so in in this video um I'll sh uh, we will show you our experience with this story and our experience and our trading experience in this field from the point of automation so just before we start with any of this story i just want to give you uh, are things which you can look upon that futures trading futures trading basically what happens is you you put in your money to an exchange futures account and then there is a line going up and down and if it goes up you earn triple double 30 percent more but when it goes down to a certain area you lose everything what you had or what you have isolated margin or whether you have cross cross leverage doesn't matter uh, but you lose everything you put on that trade or your account so basically what happens is um, if you especially when you use a uh, high leverage the price can move little 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 and you can lose all your savings there but this is the story which one of my friend told which is uh, uh, which has developed uh, an established broker brokerages also in Ukraine in Europe and he said uh, that uh, all these brokerages know uh, one thing which is the theory of 90 90 90 which basically means that 90% of users lose 90% of their capital in just less than 90 days which basically means that uh, CFDs futures know this uh, statistics and they will show you that uh, yeah use higher leverage to lose your money faster use stop loss to lose your money faster and maybe use a couple of these strategies to lose your money faster and then when you lost yeah you didn't plan you didn't manage to plan your risk uh, etc in overall conclusion if any trader and uh, use a stop loss it ends up with a losing strategy so sooner or later you will have a losing strategy there. So if you use any of leverage, uh, like let's say five, 10 or two or 20 or 100, you have a really narrow stop loss just because just before you hit the actual uh, leverage uh, threshold or how you call it. But the thing is that these uh, future markets, they have, for example, if you use, uh, let's say 10% like leverage, uh, 10, 10x leverage, for example, you will have a 10% stop loss, but they will liquidate your account just shortly before it reaches minus 8%, minus 9%, minus 7%, depending on the, the, the futures exchange in which you trade. So basically, you have not only a liquidation factor, but the liquidation factor is much closer than you think it is. Uh, so basically, another thing is we, we in Oscar has developed a strategy that works always, and it was with... A leverage leverage tokens F, ftx i think it's called you remember yes. that bull, bull yeah, bear yeah market? it's, it's uh, leverage tokens yes uh, so the strategy was simple and this was the funniest part we, we we came up with it and we thought but uh, it will be removed from the exchanges sooner or later because it's a profitable strategy so imagine you have a uh, you have a a position uh, there was a uh, leverage tokens basically mean they have the same idea of spot market you don't use leverage but just the only difference is that the price moves let's say three or five times greater than the actual price of that same coin so basically if bitcoin rises by one percent the the uh, the leverage token long rises by three percent and the opposite side so we came up with the strategy that buy at any time same positions, long and short at the same time. As soon as one hits, uh, in this case, 100 and, or 120% uh, in a normal condition, that would be around uh, uh, 40%. So if, if Bitcoin drops by 40% down or by 40% up, 
in the leverage token one will drive up by 120 percent and the other other will drive down by uh, 65 or 70 percent so if you do the math correctly so you have uh, let's say a thousand on each side and one goes up by 120 percent you have two thousand uh, uh, two thousand two hundred dollars at long and you still have around two hundred fifty dollars at short so sell them all and you have made approximately uh, 25 to 50 percent on that trade so it's a al always winning strategy but the only point is or the only difficulties is that you need to wait for a faster movement but still it will happen sooner or later especially in uh, small assets that have greater volatility and just before we developed this strategy the exchange told that uh, these tokens are removed uh, from trading sorry people had lack of knowledge about this and were like damn and the thing is that the uh, we try to apply the same strategy to futures which normally would work but it doesn't the futures are so smartly developed uh, to not have the opportunity uh, to earn in the futures markets and this is the one of the uh, most important thing that people should need to take care of or need to think about futures are developed the owners have developed the futures markets to take your money if anybody takes money out of these futures it's a lost money there uh, because it's not a free market it's a it's a you trade contract so basically win, winning means taking the owner's money so they have auto liquidation and especially if something goes above 100 percent in a fast move they are willing to liquidate your profit and 100 percent this is the most interesting part 100 because on this strategy which 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 i was talking about it's becoming profitable as soon as it goes more than 100 percent your position goes more than 100 percent higher so it's uh, it's purely developed just to be uh, it's purely developed in, in our uh, my experience it's purely developed to be a losing uh, a losing uh, uh, losing hole a uh, losing like uh, like a hole where you're just throwing money and i just made a funny aphorism about this it's uh, you just pay for the blinking ups and downs candles at the futures market you just pay for them so your experience about futures what can you tell about futures Yes, the there are many things you <laughs> told already that they have these autocomplete functions and uh, and specific functions that are not allowed at all or uh, that are limited. So yes, I would suggest not to use futures markets. Maybe if you like to gamble, then you can use them for fun. But uh, as uh, for professional trading. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trading futures markets. Uh, I think the only thing that could work if you are a manual trader is your intuition. It's it's a different thing. Intuition is 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 not is not news based. It's not system based trading. It's it's pure intu intuition. I think that could work uh, as as for a trader. But all other things. Uh, I wouldn't suggest to use in the futures markets, but um, and also another thing is about price prediction. I think predicting prices is so useless that uh, it, it makes no sense. If, if you will always try to predict your prices, then you will end up uh, with wrong predictions and you still lose your money. So. The, the best thing is not to predict, it's just to adjust your system so that it's comfortable for all predictions, for uh, doomsday predictions and for uh, um, parabolic bull runs. Parabolic bull runs. And keep in mind one thing, the market can only drop by minus 100%, but it can always go higher by 1000, by 300, Sometimes even the coins go up by 10,000% in a period of time. So keep in mind also this, that the exchanges have a little bit different scenario than in normal casinos. They have a little different scales, they have a little bit different of, uh, of hints than a normal casino. That's why exchange and trading is a little bit different from casino strategies. But still the probability is the same. 
Uh, I also know uh, one friend who's actually profitable with uh, with uh, with leverage trading, with futures trading, uh, but he has a specific tra- strategy and a high balanced risk management. But he does a couple of trades, and this is one thing uh, you should need, need to keep in mind. If you're looking at any of signal groups out there, if you're looking at any like trading bots out there, if they have done only 100, 200, maybe 300 trades, that's not a statistics. That's, that's a pure, pure statistics. If they are true trades, if they are shown trades, if they are not uh, adjusted in any way, I'll talk about this a little bit later, then maybe towards 2,000, 3,000 trades, it can show you some kind of a averaged or generalized uh, model of whether it works or not. But less trades, like maybe 20 trades a year, do not guarantee you that the next 20 or 30 trades will actually be the same. It Maybe you got lucky at that point. Uh, so another thing I wanted to mention is about futures. Just before futures started to appear in uh, in in in, in, in crypto sphere, uh, crypto sphere, in crypto crypto trading, volatility started to increase dramatically on both sides. Um, and this is the thing. What I think about futures is uh, uh, is that uh, futures are willing to change the market to be randomistically, uh, to make the market to be randomized. So if nobody can actually predict the movement, then it means that many people will start losing. And that means the future owners who have their companies set up to trade futures start earning even more, start taking their money. Another funny thing is about futures is that even if Bitcoin drops to zero, eventually it will pump back up. So when it drops to zero, you're liquidated. But if you're on spot market, it pops up and you still have some uh, coins left. So whether you're trading in, in futures, a small uh, correction of the market can completely liquidate your account. You can lose everything. But on spot market, you cannot lose everything. Only when the price stays zero or maybe maybe you lose it some other way. So that's also a major thing to consider. Uh, you want to say something? Uh, no, no. It's... Uh... I think it's clear that uh, that uh, markets have their own random principles how they work, and uh, I will just share my uh, research on on uh, next video. So on the next videos, we plan to have more screen interface with charts and actual data shown. In this video, we will focus only on what should you to keep in mind, and maybe you can share uh, your experience with signal groups. You know, there are a bunch of signal groups out there. A professional trader who is willing to show you how he trades or professional trading bots that are willing to show you how they trade and make you money. Maybe you can share your experience on this. Yes, shortly uh, how they work is they... Uh, one thing is they show their current uh, trades or the present trades that they want to buy and then they will give you you know, go for target one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty percent, whatever. And then let's say, you know, you never know how, how high the price will go. You will maybe reach target one and then he will, you know, write you, yes, now you can sell your coins, for example. And then the trade goes up to maybe target five and reaches 50 percent. And then they will put in their uh, history records that yes well this trade reached target five it was a 50 percent trade but actually i know if maybe a hundred uh, traders waited until it reached 50 percent uh, maybe only two got the 50 percent because others were told to sell the coin much earlier so the profit was quite smaller than it was shown in the in the records so it's that, not a trustable source you yeah. know because you get, oh, you would think, oh, 2%, that's still fine. But if you hit a stop loss, you will definitely hit that stop loss that was planned there. And maybe those 2% compared to 50% that you could get do not actually turn you into profitable trading. No, it doesn't. And, um, and of course, you know, you have 100 trades and they all say, well, yes, 
each trade was something between 5 and 50 percent and we are getting this uh, profit but uh, you should always focus on the you no know, gr great trading strategies don't focus on the profits they they um, focus on how to reduce losses and then when you, you should always look at the loss page and then you can see that they had always they have always this huge lose streak and when you have such low, high lose streak you it's not possible to um, cover the it's it's hard to get back in profits so most likely at the end you will end up with the same 50 50 zero zero uh, point in the best case yeah i want to also show another thing in trading view there are these algos which you can um, select and uh, adapt to your chart and it shows you arrows buy sell buy sell buy sell and there are also a couple of friends showing me these algos and I was like, oh, it seems profitable and accurate. I don't know how it works. And then I, th then I decided, okay, I want to, you know, take one of these algos and just do a little bit of research because it seems so magically perfect. But the funniest thing is it shows only the statistics on the history. So <laughs> what happens on a couple of these algos is basically when the price starts dropping, it tells you buy now. And if it drops a little bit more... It rem it moves the arrow a little bit lower and tells buy right now again, and then a little bit lower and a little bit lower. So basically, you end up with that. It looks okay on the history, but on the live trading, it doesn't work because it always changes your buy and sell signals, and it tries to squeeze out the maximum. But normally, in your scenario, if the arrow reached the target and starts falling down, you were you were to sell. But if it reached the target, you were to sell and keeps climbing up. They will have a better statistic because nobody knows whether it will go up a little bit more or start falling down. So basically, um, many of these algos and many of these softwares that are online, they uh, work on backtesting, but they don't work on live trading. Live trading is always unique. Uh, is always unique. And uh, about these signal groups, uh, uh, you know, uh, after all this knowledge and experience, also Oscars, uh, uh, we, we sometimes meet up and, and, and talk about other things. Uh, with trading and there were there are also funny things like um, buy my signal groups buy my education materials and when you start watching his like introductions of these you know signal groups you're like uh, that guy has never done any trades uh, maybe he has found online some kind of articles and doing and selling his materials for many thousands but uh, he has actually no idea of, about trading and that's what i think if uh, a normal trader or an experienced trader if you meet him, he will tell you that actually trading is hard. It's not easy. It's hard. Luck is different when you get lucky a couple of times and you quit trading. But doing on a daily basis as a work or as an income, it's completely different. Uh, you want to say anything? Um, I think it will be interesting to show you some pure statistics from the, sure. from the machines and servers and... Uh, you know when you when you get pure data and 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 see the charts then you have a different view of this and i think it's important for uh, newcomers to see this and to get the understanding you know some people who trade 10 years then don't have even this understanding so you have a fast forward case and uh, just the end of this video i want to summon up a couple more things about future markets and uh, future markets basically uh, they're willing to find you losing because then they take your all of your profit portfolio and just tell you sorry you didn't you didn't plan your risk sorry yeah apologize well, next time plan your risks and people are really get really addicted to this and they ah I, if i were to buy then then I were to earn a little bit more and they become addicted to this they don't realize that this is a gamble this is a gamble and uh, and then 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 the so when we look upon a normal statistic would be if equal amounts of traders are seeing that the price will go long and equal amounts of traders are seeing that the price will go short so price will go up the price will go down they have a nearly close to equal uh, amounts of users most of the time uh, so 
in uh, in a normal scenario, what uh, what these people do that control the markets, they make a quick rise, a quick fall, and then it's back uh, on the track. So they hit out longs and short people. They their accounts get liquidated just because they lose high leverage, and they liquidate your account. And uh, I decided to ask to support on the exchange just a couple of questions related to this topic. And they reply that uh, we don't control the market, we don't, <laughs> we don't do anything with the market, but we take your account, we liquidate your account, so we take your profit. We don't care what happens in the market, but we are here to take your account. So that's also the funniest thing. I started to just like, get a little bit amazed by the nonsense, uh, or, by the, or, or it's a joke, I think. Uh, so you have to be good with mathematics and probability to understand these uh, simple things. So I think uh, the mathematician will always look at uh, at exchanges completely different than a people will look, uh, than, a, than an ordinary people will look at exchanges. So another thing about beginners is that uh, they always uh, uh, show up <laughs> in the wrong time. And Oscar knows many stories about this. They always show up when the prices are starting to move upwards. Then there's a mass of taxi drivers, policemen and everything, all, all of that area that are okay. The Bitcoin is moving upwards, I want to buy it. But as soon as Bitcoin starts moving upwards, the chances and for it to fall downwards are increasing rapidly. And many traders buy high, sell low. It should be completely opposite. It should be, the thinking should be completely opposite. That's why I think many women uh, uh, could be good traders because they, well, not, not many women, but the idea is if you are a shopper and if you go shopping and uh, you look for discounts, you need to apply the same analogy also to trading, never buy high, because when it goes higher, people are panicking. They are thinking, okay, it will still go higher, it will still go higher, and manual traders jump in at the same time when you needed to go short on the trading or needed to sell everything. And, and there is one psychology about training which uh, I've observed to people is that, if for, for example, if they buy a law, the price goes higher and higher and higher, they decide to keep it because it may go higher again and keep rising again and they are still holding it. And when it starts falling down, they're still holding it because they think it will return back. And, then, and when it goes back to zero profit or starts going losses, they are like, ah, I don't want to sell with losses, I don't want to sell with losses. And, but when the price is, for example, you buy high and the price is falling, falling maybe for months, maybe for weeks, uh, at some point news jumps in with um, Bitcoin is pointless, trading is pointless, uh, it will go down to zero eventually, all charts, everything red, uh, completely red, and people get weak and they sell it with loss as well. And just then the price starts to rise up. So this is the ordinary or the most common thing what traders actually, new beginners do in the trading. They use leveraged, they go completely opposite of the market, and they read news, they panic about it, and they forgot the basics of mathematics that actually do work in the trading. Do you want to tell your... Uh, <laughs> I want to ask a simple question, Oscar. How many times you got liquid, liquidated in, in futures markets. I remember I did first testing in the futures market this year. The futures market's not so old, but uh, I, I, I did some testing this year. It only took some few hours to liquidate the account. So, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, as for uh, system trading, uh, you yeah as you told you can just see that futures markets the only option that is is when you pay in and most unlikely that you get out some money from the futures market but it, it took only a few hours to liquidate the position but uh, you know when you risk the amount that you can lose then you don't panic because it, i only paid some few 10 bucks uh, just to test it so uh, it's very important to test things before you start to do start to do them. Um, we are slowly managing a, a fund where our systems that we have, we have developed are making profit for other users. 
and uh, I always tell the people and Oscar also, also has this uh, same recommendation to people if you're new to this understand that any money you put in there is already lost and if you can accept that and if you're okay with that then you start trading because people many people put in like okay Bitcoin going up I'm putting in all my savings in there or, uh, or sell my house or uh, loan my house to just uh, put in all my money there and they are like eager to earn a lot there quickly and uh, I would say that's not that's not going to happen in some cases you win like a lottery but I would say that's that's not the scenario especially for beginners don't do that always be safe and spend some more time on learning and by actually doing and that's 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 what I would want to recommend from my own experience uh, to traders uh, do you want to expand a little bit? I think uh, it's important to uh, yes of course you shouldn't uh, put in more money that you can lose that's, that's logical because uh, people tend to panic when the prices fall down but I think it's the human nature that when things in your life goes really down you maybe your health or your money or whatever you can start to panic and you can get really anxious and uh, things start to collapse because you don't know how to handle the situation the same applies there you don't know what to do you you will sell with a huge loss and then things start to normalize they go sideways and then eventually they go up again that's the way the things balance the their self so uh um, of course, it's it's about balance and finding a strategy that balances it. So we have definitely developed uh, things that balance all the risks that can happen in your trading account life. Uh, so uh, uh, I want to also expand a little. Uh, how can you actually, if you're a beginner, look at trading as this? Um, they are like, it's the same like an ocean, waves go up and down, up and down. No wave can actually go higher than the sky, and no wave can actually go deep, deep, uh, touching the ground. Well, they can do it, but it's, 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 it's not going to happen. Uh, theoretically, it is possible, but it's not going to happen normally, in normal and general conditions. So the same applies to exchange. Just look at these charts as waves of water just waves as soon as it reaches some kind of a lowest point it will eventually turn back off all up and it turns high point it will eventually turn back down so this is uh, this is the way i think uh, what normal people should do and normal people sh should look upon and uh, i wanted to tell another uh, my experience about futures markets um <laughs> this is a funny i think uh we have we've been developing strategies for spot markets especially Oscar, he has several different strategies. My job is mainly to make them work with computers and programming and servers, etc. And we've been establishing our first strategy for futures markets, um, which was basically really close to high frequency trading. Uh, we have used so many techniques, neural networks, machine learnings, uh, so many, many, many techniques. And uh, we have uh, we've been established a strategy that works uh, five to twenty percent a month depending on depending on the market moves so it, it, it was quite good and we decided that on leverage trading we could actually you know leverage it up to ten or maybe to five or maybe to three and thus making our profit a little bit larger uh, at the at the end of the month so we decided to go in with uh, with a small, really, really small amount to just test it. And so we started with, uh, I don't remember, it was quite a while ago. Uh, it, it was the big amount. So basically it was the amount satisfying to, to enter the markets in the, in the futures. But the thing is, after after a week, we end up by having, a, let's say, 30% increase. And it, it all went good. Maybe we got to a 50% increase and then the market start going downwards, which is fine. But the thing is, due to many trades that we were doing simultaneously with the system, uh, the futures turned out to put delays on your trades. 
for example, you have let's let's just say a, a random number. Let's say you have uh, let's say 150 open positions in futures market, and uh, the market tends. This is another thing from backtests. The market tends to drop faster. It lower rises, but it, when it drops, it drops faster. And this was also done through our experiments. And this was a really interesting thing. So when the market starts falling, it falls really fast. Maybe it takes around uh, three minutes sometimes to drop by 10%, especially in crypto. So what happens? What happened was, imagine you have uh, 500 open trades. You, and the futures markets allow you to take one trade a second, or sometimes two seconds, and sometimes artificially slow them down to five seconds. So basically, I especially developed a chart that indicates how fast normally trades execute. Well, if the, there is a there is a high activity in the market, it exu executes from 0 0.5 seconds to three th three seconds normally. And if the activity slows down, uh, the 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 trades get faster. But there were peaks of artificially slowed down trades. Uh, there were like peaks that like, let's say every 100 trade is slowed down by five seconds. So what happens at this point is when the market falls down and the system is indicating now we can sell all or go short, for example, uh, you want to put like 100 or 500 trades and you want to close 100%. For example, the markets have taken you in the zone of profit, like let's say plus 5% and then it starts crashing down. You say, like, okay, we're going to take the profit. We're going to start selling right now. It sells one trade, then the other trade, then the next trade, and then the next trade. And you're like, okay, please faster, faster, faster. The market is crashing. And then they're like, oops, your account went down by minus 20%. You're liquidated and you receive an email. You need to plan your risks uh, more wisely, let's say, like this. So, what wisely? It was, uh, uh, I was plus five, then minus, then plus two, then plus one. Some trades are closed, some 400 are still open, then minus five, minus 10, and now risk was managed to, to handle minus 10% of drops. And it goes minus 20, minus 25, and you're liquidated. So uh, this was another thing about futures trading that you cannot do um, high frequency trading and it's basically especially developed there that you cannot do it there. Uh, also to not take the edge of, of quick and small movements because that's the edge of many, many high frequency traders out there. Uh, yeah, and the end of this video, what I wanted also to suggest, maybe you want to say something, but... Uh, do you have any about your futures or what for example if somebody asks you hey i have a oscars i have a oscar i have a hundred bucks here uh or thousand doesn't matter and i want to trade on futures what are the things i should uh, consider or what are the things i should should know before i enter futures trading futures level trading well i would suggest only to use one dollar and uh, i would say if you can get me 30 trades in a row that one then uh, we can have a discussion <laughs> i think you got the point that getting 30 win streaks in a row is a huge challenge and if you can do that you definitely have found out something. You have definitely figured out something. Um, yeah, and uh, at the end of the video, there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands, maybe billionaire traders out there that are publishing their education courses. Futures are publishing that. You can earn more if you use higher leverage. You can do more with higher leverage. There's tons of such information out there. Uh, for ordinary people to mess their heads around. Sometimes it's... So, earning on trading is difficult. It's not easy. Especially earning a lot is difficult. It's not easy. But getting your money to make you lose, I think sometimes it's much easier than actually finding a profitable strategy. And, uh, yeah, so, at the end of this video, I would just want to... Uh, suggest to you if you in by any certain by any by any means are willing to start in this field 
Of course, you can get profits out of it, but I don't think not how it's publicly advertised or published uh, in the media. Yeah, that that could be true. Uh, okay, so do you want to talk something more? Do you want to share something more about this futures uh, casino type of uh, structure? Yes, I suggest you to watch my next video um, in the link below the vi this video. You can see um, a more uh, from uh, from another perspective how this uh, systemized trading works and how to avoid trading signal groups and uh, well, not avo avoid but uh, things to pay attention to when it comes to trading groups and uh, futures markets. So I hope you will enjoy that video. Okay, so next video we will give a deeper a look into actual statistics yes education materials that you should or could or would need to or maybe are interesting to to keep in mind when starting and entering in any of uh, trading strategies futures markets and uh, signal groups out there